Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine Ministries. I want you to take a look at Romans 15, 13. It's a beautiful verse that says, listen to what it says. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace. And I'm going to stop right there because I want you to understand what the Lord is saying. The God of hope. But this is not crossing your fingers and saying, I hope this happens. In the Bible, the biblical word of hope means a full assurance. It means it's going to happen, that it's a sure thing. So your hope is different in you in the Christian context than it is in the world. So when you look at hope in the Bible, remember it's a sure thing. It's going to happen. It's not across your fingers, hopefully for the best. It's not what it means in the Bible. And then it goes on to say, with all joy and peace. And I want you to know joy and peace are always put together Some in the Bible. A lot of times it's put together because joy and peace come together. And God is trying to give you not only a full assurance with joy and peace. And what a wonderful thing he's trying to give us. Now listen to what it says, as you trust in him. So there's something about trusting that's going to pull in joy and peace and a full assurance. Joy, peace, and a full assurance. It's trusting. He says, as you trust in him. You know, we can believe, but we don't have to trust. Trust comes through relationship. Trust comes through loving someone so much that you know they're going to be with you no matter what happens. And that's what trust is. Sometimes we can believe in God. We believe he's going to do something for Aunt Susie, but we know he's not going to heal us. Because trust is something different. We need to learn to trust in something that you can't see. Trust and faith happens to be two words. One word meaning trust and faith. Two things that ball up into one word. Trust. Trust and faith. We need to learn to trust God more into what he's trying to do for us and what he's trying to give us. And then it goes on to say, so that you may overflow. I love the word overflow. So he doesn't want to give you joy and peace and full assurance just up to the rim of the cup. He wants the cup to overflow. He wants you to overflow in joy and peace. He wants you to overflow with full assurance and a trusting in God, an overflow, not just enough, but more than enough. And he will hope, and then it says, will hope in the, in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is what holds this all together for you. It will keep you trusting in the Lord. It will keep you full assurance in the Lord. It will give you joy and peace in the Lord. This scripture is so powerful. This is what God is trying to do for you. He's always trying to give us something, and we don't always receive it. But this one says you will get joy and hope, full assurance, when you start trusting God, as you trust in God. This is a gift from God, and this is how you pull on that gift. You start gleaming from that gift. Now, I'm going to give you a little hint. When you start feeling overwhelmed or depressed or or you start feeling um, really things aren't working for you and you're getting anxiety, start saying to yourself out loud, thank you, Lord God, for the joy and peace. Start thanking him for the gift that he's already given you. That's how you pull that gift into you. That's how you get overflow with joy and peace. You start thanking him for the joy and peace that you're already receiving. Say, I thank you for the joy and peace in my life, and I rebuke the anxiety and being overwhelmed and the depression. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, and I thank you, Lord God, that, you, that I have succumbed to the joy and the peace, and I trust you, Lord God, to know you're giving it to me now as I receive it in the name of Jesus. So try that instead of start feeding into your, your depression, start feeding into your anxiety, start feeding in the word of God and thanking him for the gift. So let me go over that scripture one more time. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him so that you are overflow with the hope and the power 
of the Holy Spirit. Let me pray for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just know that you're trying to give me things that I may not try, that I may not be receiving them. So I thank you for the joy and the peace in my life. I thank you that you shower me with trust and hope in you. And hope is a full assurance. It's I know you're going to do it for me because I can trust your word. I can trust you, Lord God. So I thank you, Lord God, for the joy and peace that I received today and that I will go out, Lord God, through this day being more than a conqueror, being victorious in my life. I thank you, sweet Jesus, in your holy name. Amen and amen. Go out and make it a great rise and shine day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.